You can't even begin to fathom the immense size of the Pacific Ocean. It reigns supreme as the largest among the five major oceans on our Earth. Its vast expanse covers a mind-boggling surface area of 165 million square kilometers. To put that into perspective, let me astonish you further by revealing that the entire land surface of our Earth measures only 148 million square kilometers. Even if all the land masses were to merge together, the Pacific Ocean would still have room to spare, as if eagerly awaiting the break of dawn. From high above, when gazing upon the Pacific Ocean, the scattered islands appear as mere specks, insignificantly tiny in comparison. And what's even more awe-inspiring is the fact that some of these islands remain untouched by human civilization, unexplored territories where human footprints have never left their mark. Now let's consider the Pacific Ocean from a different angle. Imagine someone becoming lost within its vastness, wandering aimlessly with no hope of being found, utterly powerless. The sheer scale and relentless nature of the ocean make it a formidable force, rendering the lost individual virtually invisible, swallowed up by its boundless depths. Now, welcome to Aladdin's channel, where we delve into intriguing tales and today's focus is on a remarkable man who found himself adrift in a small boat within the treacherous Pacific Ocean. It would have been understandable if he had been lost for a few days, but astonishingly, he endured an unimaginable 438 days of isolation and uncertainty. The burning question that arises is how did this extraordinary individual manage to survive for a grueling 14 months amidst such harsh conditions? Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets behind his remarkable resilience and tenacity. Now, let's delve into the captivating story of a man who found himself adrift in a small boat within the Pacific Ocean. This man's tale goes beyond reason, as he endured an astonishing 438 days of being lost at sea. How did he manage to survive for 14 months in such a treacherous environment? Today, we shall uncover the remarkable details. In 2012, a man named Jose Salvador Alvarenga resided in the humble town of Costa Azul, Mexico. At the age of 36, Jose, a skilled fisherman, embarked on a fateful journey with his partner in a small fishing boat on November 17th. Their goal was simple, to spend 30 hours at sea and return with whatever they could catch. Consequently, their boat was not laden with supplies, except for an engine and a refrigerator to store the fish. Venturing 120 kilometers from the coast, they cast their nets to capture fish. However, as fate would have it, a sudden storm struck them at 1 a.m., posing a severe threat to their lives. Realizing the perils of remaining in the tempest, they made the tough decision to abandon their nets and other heavy items in the boat and set off towards the safety of the land. For six hours, their boat continued to surge forward, finally bringing them within 20 kilometers of the coast, visible at 7 a.m. Just when it seemed they had escaped the storm's clutches, misfortune intervened. Their boat's engine failed a mere 20 kilometers from the coast. With no bearings or guidance, they relied on their radio to signal their location and waited anxiously for a response from the boat's owner. However, their radio's battery faltered, severing their connection to the outside world. As they struggled with this setback, new challenges emerged. A strong wind pushed their boat further into the depths, obscuring the once visible shoreline from their sight. Their desperate owners made every effort to locate them but were unable to succeed. They seemed to have vanished into thin air. Drifting 450 kilometers from the coast, Jose and his partner found themselves surrounded by an endless expanse of ocean, devoid of any signs of human life. Their boat was so minuscule that it remained invisible even from a distance. Lacking tools to signal for help, they found themselves teetering on the brink of death. Supplies dwindled rapidly, leaving them without food. To survive, they resorted to various measures. When birds landed on the boat to rest, they captured and consumed them. Whenever fish passed by, they ate them raw. Drinking the salty seawater was fatal, so they collected rainwater from floating plastic bottles and relied on that for hydration. During prolonged periods without rain, they resorted to drinking the blood of fish and turtles they managed to catch. The passage of time inflicted its toll, gradually wearing them down both physically and mentally. Tragically, after four months, Jose's partner could bear it no longer, 
and succumbed to despair, taking his own life. Jose was now left alone on the boat, deprived of human interaction. In this vast expanse of serene waters, he sailed silently, isolated from the world. Looking at the map, one can discern that he found himself in a location of unparalleled tranquility within the Pacific Ocean, occasionally intersected by passing cargo ships. Six months passed in silence until the day Jose spotted a cargo ship. A glimmer of hope ignited within him, rekindling his desire to live. Jose made desperate attempts to attract the attention of the ship's crew, but due to the small size of his boat, he went unnoticed, and the ship sailed away, crushing his dreams of rescue. Undeterred, he continued his odyssey, traversing 8,000 kilometers over the course of 11 months. Wearing nothing but underpants to shield himself from the scorching sun, his clothing having been damaged, he persevered against all odds. Finally, destiny began to smile upon him. After 14 months, on January 30th, 2014, he discovered coconuts floating in the nearby sea, a sign of land. Filled with a renewed sense of hope, Jose realized that an island lay within reach. Without hesitation, he leaped from his boat and swam toward the island, marking his first encounter with solid ground in 14 months. To his astonishment, he stumbled upon a beachfront home where locals resided at the time. After 438 days, he had finally encountered another human being. The joy that flooded Jose's heart was indescribable after enduring such a protracted period of solitude. This island, located in the Pacific Ocean, lay approximately 110,000 kilometers from his intended destination. If he had missed this island, his ordeal would have extended by another 5,000 kilometers, an additional 240 days. Jose was subsequently repatriated to his home, but his journey was far from over. Upon his return, he faced yet another hurdle. He was accused of murdering his partner, and a lawsuit ensued. To shed light on his extraordinary experiences, Jose penned a memoir, recounting the remarkable events that unfolded during his time at sea. We hope you've been captivated by this incredible tale. Thank you for watching, and be sure to explore our channel for more compelling videos like this.